online and on your smart speaker. Red Rooster, craveable, golden, crunchy fried chicken. In store or delivery. Hit News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Floyd here with your news briefing. Evacuation orders have been issued for parts of Sydney's south as the latest heavy downpours caused dramas along the New South Wales coast, spanning from the Hunter down to the south coast. There's been close to 700 calls for assistance since last night and 25 flood rescues so far, with the majority of those in Sydney and in the Illawarra. Acting SES Commissioner Daniel Austin says hundreds of people are in the field and there's no reprieve on the cards for a while yet. We have a couple of days before this system um, clears out from the intense rainfall that we're seeing, but we will continue to see river systems react and uh, major flood warnings exist for a number of catchments. We're hearing a number of asylum seekers who've been housed in Melbourne's Park Hotel have been released. The Greens have taken to social media to confirm there's been people released both there and at other detention centres across the country. Party leader Adam Baird going on to add, today is a good day. The Prime Minister hasn't given us any hints on just when he'll call the election. It's despite more pressure from the opposition today for the date to be announced immediately. Scott Morrison says he'll call it when he's ready. We're going to do this every day. The election will be called um, when you know I'm in a position to go to the Governor-General. Uh, it's, it's almost three years in, at, at, by mid-May um, when uh, from the last election I said we would run a term do the job and go to the Australian people. Meantime, the opposition leader is calling for Russian diplomats to be expelled from Australia. That's in light of the ongoing invasion of Ukraine. Searching great value, style, choice. Put Suzuki in your search and rediscover the journey. See Suzuki QLD for details. Knights fullback Kalon Ponga will be back in action for tonight's clash against Manly in Newcastle while coach Adam O'Brien's backing Tyson Frizzell to play despite a nerve issue. The nerve settled right down, um, so it wasn't hamstring. Look, if it was a hamstring, there's no way given, you know, we're light on in the back row. I wouldn't, um, wouldn't risk him, but look, it's settled down. He hasn't done a lot this week. As for the Seagulls, Ruben Garrick replaces the injured Tommy Turbo at fullback, and Aussie in a starting year, and Aussie's through the final game, and playing for a chance at Houston. <laughs> Sunny afternoon for central Queensland, 31 the top for Rockhampton, partly cloudy tomorrow, 32 in Rocky, 30 in Gladstone. And our listener app is your new home of local news. Download the app now to listen live or on demand.